Okay, today, metabolic rate in the goldfish. And so what we're gonna do is, here's our goldfish, and what we need to do is we need to count operculum movement. So this is the operculum on our goldfish right here, and it covers the gills. So when the operculum moves, water is passing over the gills, and it gives us an idea about how fast the goldfish is breathing, if you will, in the water. So we're gonna set this up by filling up a container with water, and then we're gonna get a goldfish uh, from our aquarium and put the goldfish inside. And when I tell you to do so, you're gonna to wanna to start counting operculum movements. Start now. and stop. So that'll be the end of round one. And now we'll do trial number two and you can start counting now. Now trial number two only lasted 15 seconds. So you'll need to multiply that number that you counted by four to get the number of operculum movements in one minute. So now we'll do room temperature trial number three. You can start counting now. And stop. And trial number three only lasted 10 seconds. And so we need to multiply that number by six to get number of operculum movements in one minute so that they're all in about the same ratio. This is a common problem when we do animal behavior studies and we try to record uh, behavior just using video because if the animal moves or changes angles, it can be very difficult to see something. So if you're actually doing this in class, you can kind of move around and adjust. And so now what we're gonna do is we have our goldfish and we're going to add ice to the container and our room temperature water is about 20 degrees Celsius. So we'll add some ice to this container and we will lower it five degrees Celsius below what it is. So our goal will be to take our water temperature in this case and lower it to 15 degrees Celsius and we'll give the goldfish a couple of minutes to sort of adjust metabolically to that. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll start trial number one and we'll count operculum movements um, in one minute once our goldfish has had a chance to adjust to the temperature change. Okay, get ready and start counting now. Operculum movements. and stop. Now you're gonna multiply that number by six because we can only get 10 seconds. And so now to calculate metabolic rate, you multiply that by 0 0.025, which will give you metabolic rate. And this data is data we collected from our class. And um, you can use this data to sort of check the calculations you make to make sure the data that you have comes out pretty close.